This is one of my favorite NES games and one I have a lot of memories of. The atmosphere, text descriptions, and scenery is just incredibly involving and engrossing. You really feel like an old-fashioned private eye. Somebody call Dick Tracy, because he's got to run for his money with this guy. This is Deja Vu for the Nintendo Entertainment System released in 1990. It was originally released for the Apple Macintosh in 1985, but at that time it looked like this. Yeah, the NES version is a huge step up in terms of music and full color graphics. Heads up, tons of spoilers ahead. In Deja Vu, you assume the role of a man who awakens in a bathroom stall to discover that he has somehow passed out unconscious. At first you may feel that you can connect with his experience, but you soon learn that he didn't pass out from drinking like you did, he was drugged. You have to discover this, however, just like you have to discover who you are. Yes, you awaken with amnesia. It's a brand new story element that you've never seen before. Obviously I'm joking, but here it still works fine. But don't worry, the same thing that made you forget will make you remember. Drugs. Medicine, that is. Go find yourself some dr uh, medicine, and soon you'll remember who you are and untangle a murder mystery that has you at the center, being framed for a murder you didn't commit. Deja Vu has a lot more character than Shadowgate, I must admit that. While Shadowgate is my favorite of the three, Deja Vu just has that unique classiness to it. It takes a lot of class to discover a bound, gagged, overweight lady in a trunk, and then just leave her there. Yes, I'm serious, after you get some information from her, you leave her there, bound up. Want to be even more cold-blooded? You can shut the trunk right on her face and walk away. That's cold. You'll also discover another body, but this one is lifeless, and don't go calling the police, that'll only get you locked up. You see, since you're being framed, you have to gather the proper clues to prove your innocence. But here's where it gets sketchy. Not only do you need clues to prove you didn't do it, but any clue that seems to indicate you did do it, you have to toss in the sewers to dispose of it. So you're claiming to be innocent, then you're disposing of evidence in the sewer. Hmm. Sometimes I gotta wonder, Ace Harding, are you really innocent, or have we the players been cleverly led to assist you in your framing of someone else? If you can handle this moral dilemma, then you need to play this game. While the D-pad is not ideal for moving a cursor, you'll quickly get used to it. What do you do when a woman throws vague threats at you out on the street? You punch her lights out, that's what. BAM! Hit the floor, lady! Yeah, then you stand over her unconscious body in triumph. You, Ace Harding, just knocked a woman out cold. But hey, in Ace's defense, she was about to pull a gun on him. But then again, he wouldn't know that unless he actually tried to walk away, in which case he does get shot and killed. But then only you, the player, know what happened because he died. So really, Ace never knows what's coming, but still clocks her a good one anyway. Ace, I'm just not sure what to think about you anymore. You heartlessly leave a bound, gagged woman in the trunk of a car, you're loading up on drugs without a prescription, you gamble in an underground casino, you dispose of evidence in the sewer, and then you punch a lady out right in the street. I'm starting to wonder here if Ace really is the good guy or not. No wonder the cab driver gets so nervous around him. In the end, you dispose of <clears throat> planted evidence against you, collect evidence suggesting your innocence, and then present it all to the police. And then... Wait, no. No, this is all wrong. Ace is not supposed to be getting arrested. He's uh, innocent. Oh, I forgot to get rid of uh, file 5. At least I think it's file 5. I must not have picked it up. No problem, I'll just hop a cab back there, get it, and toss it in the depths below the city streets. Uh, let's see here. I'm out of coins, and there's no way to get more coins, and I can't take the taxi because I've already used the free ride I could get from the one nervous guy. But I have to take the taxi to get file 5 to complete the game. So, yeah, I'm stuck. That's right, folks. Deja Vu is one of those games. You know, the oh crap, now it's impossible to win type of game? You can actually make the game unwinnable by running out of coins and not having any way to take the taxi. Well, I could spend another hour completing a second playthrough just to record the ending for you, or I could just pretend the ending is happy. Yeah. And that's Deja Vu for the NES.
Thanks for watching and join me next time as I take a look at the third and final entry in our MacVenture NES series, Uninvited. Remember to click the thumbs up button and if you haven't already, click here to subscribe. I'll see you next time.